Alrighty folks, we got a mixed bag for today. The first thing we're gonna do is I've got to get a couple of sanding blocks made. Uh, this is the template I use. You can see I've got all these blocks ready to go. I'm not doing all of them today. After we're done this, we will probably do a wall handle for a knife. That's the last step for that blade. And then I would like to, this week, start a batch of 10 last ditch neckers and uh, yeah. I was just getting ready to clean up this blade, just using the file guide, try and get this bottom part real nice and flush. You can see that little bit I have to grind off there. And by far, one of the most important parts when you're grinding is good light. I've been using this IKEA light for a while. Works great, I can clamp it onto whatever tooling arm, except I can't. Yeah, for now, we'll just have to do this. So we've got our wood chosen and this is going to be the main portion of the handle and this is going to be the bolster, the little part up top. Now before I go to the milling machine, I mark my center and I'm just going to drill a 1 8 hole all the way down and we'll flip it over, we'll come in with a half inch hole and we will set our depth stop so that we don't go too far and that way when we're at our milling machine, we'll mill in our slot and we'll know when we're through this thickness right here that won't have the hole in it. Oh boy, that is not looking that straight. Look how far out of center we are. Even without measuring it, you can tell. Whew, that is so bad. Ugh. I spent a long time preparing this block too, getting it all squared. I don't know why I even checked this for square. Do not know why that happened. Well, 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 I'm dumb. All right, so in an attempt to fix this, I'm gonna put this into this two jaw pen turning chuck. And essentially these jaws kind of self-center. So hopefully if I can stick this in here, and then I've got a center drill. And we'll just try seeing if we can mark a more accurate center hole. And then we'll come in with like our half inch bit 
and hopefully this will get us where we need to be. Oh boy. Tighten this down. Alrighty. Turn the phase converter on. center that. We're just going to mark where we're going to mill to. Okay, let's see. Okay, well we'll try that. Actually didn't turn out too bad. But my concern is that I didn't start it out accurately. Look at this. Come on. This is ridiculous. That is not going to work. I'm pretty certain. But let's go find out. So we are going to have to file this a little wider. And we could have machined it a little longer. But... Okay, so now let's file off from that side where we got that little whoopsie do. Only from that side. It's our only chance of being able to bring this back. What do they call these again? Anyways, I made this tool. Maybe I'll put a link in the corner of me building this. And uh, just for the record, I built mine before Trollski built his. <gasps> what? They're after the kitty food. Why are they trying to steal your food? All right, so I spent just a little more time on this and I think it's looking okay this is the block that it came from you can see there it's uh nice and snug on both sides which is exactly what we want and then the way that i do my wall handles is uh i've got this half inch dowel and i just i think i did this on the table saw actually i made a jig and so essentially this goes in here and that kind of helps center it and then we've got our hole on the handle portion the main part of the handle all goes together like that. Now, I am gonna be cutting probably two inches off of this handle, because this is very big. And then what I'll do is I'll fill everything with epoxy, get it all in there. Oh, I also need to cut a relief groove down here, so that when I go to push this in, it doesn't hydraulically lock. Often they'll be like, and it just doesn't go down. Now before we glue it up, I've got some 80 grit paper, and I'm just gonna do a couple passes very lightly and carefully just to rough up that surface, make it nice and toothy so that the epoxy can bite. So these are the custom clamps and uh, basically I just cut a groove right in there. I got this idea from Noah Vachon and essentially once we get all the epoxy in here, get everything glued up, put together, then this clamp will go over just kind of each side of the blade like that. See how the blade's up in there? Clamp that, and then this one, we're actually gonna have to come at an angle with this one. We can still get really close to, to the blade, front and back. And then once the epoxy's almost kicked off, you can just go and that'll stay. Beautiful. All right, so I put these blocks in a vise. So now we've got the block supported, the clamps are keeping everything together. 
we're just gonna wait for this to stiffen up a little bit more. And we'll pull it out and let this cure overnight. If we pull it out too soon, all that epoxy will kind of yeah, so it's a little nerve-wracking, but I like to leave it like as close to too late as possible while not being too late. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh yeah, don't want to leave it any closer than that. Yes, okay, this stuff's almost totally set up, so I'm gonna wipe this one down. I'm gonna let that dry overnight. Alrighty, that brings us to the end of another day. Uh, the sun has set. I need to go inside and get some food. We've got that wall handle. We'll leave that overnight. In the morning, we'll come in, burn the tang into it. I love this method, this dowel method. It works slick as a whistle. Hoping to get this completely finished tomorrow. And then if we can do that, uh, we'll sharpen it. I'll get it shipped out. And then uh, hopefully we can start on a batch of like 10 last ditch neckers. Because I haven't made one of those since I've moved here and I've got some steel and I kind of feel like, I don't know why, I kind of feel like just batching it out. Just being like, let's just go boom, cut 10 of them out, drill 10 of them, grind 10 of them, heat treat 10 of them. I don't know. I just think it'd be fun. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and we will see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.